guys welcome to expertizer academy civil 3d and autocad uh, development tutorial so this this playlist is purely on uh, autocad plugin development so probably i'll create another playlist just for civil 3d development later so this one um we're going to continue into the autocad development um so the things which i'm going to uh, run through today's lesson is uh, just uh, want to show you how the exercise files have been organized and that's one thing and then uh, the github um, uh, the link will be in the description box uh, you can grab there and you can download the full exercise file and uh, you can you can pretty much uh, run the project and you can test it all yourself um, so let me quickly go to visual studio and uh, show you a couple of changes which i've done so first what i've done is uh, i've created a solutions folder called developer help and uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep populating um some documents that's in there so one is a autocad developer dot uh, net developer guide uh the issue with uh, some of these things are um it's these days you know it's always hard to find proper uh, documentation and uh, even if it's old uh, sometimes it will be relevant to the latest version of autocad so you can always refer back to it and the so the latest guide sometimes doesn't uh, is not actually as detailed as the older ones. Uh, sometimes they miss out on some of the chapters and stuff. Um, so I'll just include all the relevant documents uh, which is needed. And then uh, if there is any links, you can find it here. So I'll also add the link, uh, which is useful. And apart from that, for each of those uh, sections of exercises, I will create a separate project. Uh, so you can just focus only on that. Um, so the first one is just basically a hello world. And the next one is like, we're gonna see how to control AutoCAD. Uh, this is nothing to do with drawing anything on AutoCAD or reading the DDBG files. It is just to, you know, control the AutoCAD window, AutoCAD document window, and all these other things, you know, just the, um, the outer shell. So we will have um, all the um, uh, functions within here. So you can just go and, get each one of them. So this is coming from the AutoCAD developer guide. So I'm just following through the AutoCAD developer guide. I'm just uh, explaining how this is done, what it does and things like that. And uh, so once I finish the AutoCAD developer guide, I'll also add my own set of tricks and tutorials as well. Um, so you know, it's always consistent. Okay, so let's get going guys. So on this lesson, um, so we have already seen in the previous one, how to set the AutoCAD window. And um, so this one, we're gonna see how to uh, set the document window and then uh, maximizing minimizing documents and then get the current state of the documents so this is going to be really useful because if you're going to switch between multiple documents and then uh, let's say if you have uh, three different documents and then if you want to minimize all of them and sh you know just quickly get a view of all of them and if you want to build some plugins like that then this is what you're going to uh, do so um, in here so before we get into just the references um, uh if you expand it here so the uh, couple of references i uh, added one is the system.windows another one is the system.forms so this is for popping up the message box so just to so you you understand where it comes from uh so it comes from the message box comes from system.windows.forms um so remember uh, these days we will be going for WPF not bin forms, uh, but the message box generally, you know, we still use the one which comes with the bin forms. I'll also show you Exceed and other other programs which gives you more fancy message boxes. I will also go through a separate tutorial on um, some really really cool modern design uh, of the bin forms. Uh, I mean the WPF forms. I'll show you those ones as well. All right, so that's all the two references, and then uh, the final output uh, that you're gonna find it. Uh, right under so if you go into the github and if you go into the autocad tutorials folder uh, so there is your uh, developer uh, help and you can find whatever i put in there and then the another one is the plugin folder so every time i build something so it is going to go into that specific folder so so you can grab and install them pretty easily so rather than you drilling into the bin folder on each of those projects okay so how do i set that if you just right click on the project go to properties and then if you go to um, build, uh, yeah, if you go to build and you see the output folder, which I have put onto that folder. Okay, simple as that. Okay, let's get going on this exercise. So first one is the documents uh, window size. This is similar to what we have done on the overall window size that we set for the AutoCAD. 
All right, so first on this one, what we're going to do is we're going to get the current document because what it does is it actually goes to AutoCAD and then you see this is my document drawing one. Uh, let's say if I run this command, which is, uh, this is set document size. So I'm going to say a set doc win size. Okay, here we go. Um, so I'm just going to press enter and then you can see it minimizes that particular document, not the window, just that particular document. All right. So what it does here is first we're getting the active document. So that's the MDA active document and this editor is not needed. So it's just, you know, uh, just got it from the old code so we can get rid of that that's not needed and then uh, we're going to get the state of the document so workaround this looks like to refresh the problem sometimes autocad is 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 um, um is is not some as fluid so we just uh, get this done so it refreshes the application window and then uh, set the position of the window so this is same as what we have done for the autocad window so we set into a particular position where you want that little box to be for your document and then apply that into the uh, window, the document or independent location. So it's it's the same thing what we have done. But in this case, we have done it for the application for the whole application main window. In this case, we have done it for the document. And then uh, the same thing goes for the size as well. So it's going to be the document window and then device independent size. And then we set it to a size. So that's for the uh, size. And the next one is maximizing minimizing. So this is very simple. So you just go into the um, uh, window and then state and then uh, you can set the state to minimized and then it will be minimized so then you can set the state to maximized and it will be minima maximized so let's say we'll try this one min max document window so let's go in here okay so now it's minimized okay and it's maximized simple as that and then next one is get the current state of the uh, window. So this is pretty much if it's minimized or maximized, it's going to let you know. So uh, current doc window state and then tell you the, do the document window is maximized. OK, so let's um, let's say if we go into this command, which say set doc win size set doc win size. And then if we run um, this command, which is current document window set. OK, it says the windows uh, is normal and then you can also um, minimize it totally. And then if you run uh, current. Uh, where did that go? Here we go. So if you run the current document window state, it shows you it maximized. So if you minimize it and then um, if you run it, it just shows minimized. Um, so that's that's all for today, guys. And um, what we can also do is uh, some of the other things that you can also do is the state, uh, the size, some of these values, you can also store it within the DDPG file, like an X data or something. So uh, let's say every time you open this DDPG file, you wanted to open it in a particular size. The window size for this particular document should be on a particular size. If that is what you wanted, you can store it into an X, X data and then save it with the DDPG file. Every time you open the DDPG file, you push a button, it goes and reads a value and set the window size and put it onto a particular location so you can do that kind of stuff as well. All right. So we'll see some of those things as we go through and then probably I'll add uh, anything related to controlling the AutoCAD. Uh, we will put it onto this one. So we'll just keep populating it so you can come back and play around with that and anything specific. Just let me know, guys. You know, I'll try my best to give you something. Um, thanks, guys, and uh, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.